What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris, and that's Al. What's up, Al? Hello, everybody. Al is guest hosting. He um, he's taking a um, a little night off from his channel, uh, Dark Side TV and Movie Reviews, and he jumped on our channel. Mike is lost into the ether. He's now he's in Italy. He's having fun in Italy. He went a little. He's on a little sabbatical. So uh, nice. Al was gracious enough to step in, and we are going to talk about the latest episode for Into the Badlands. Episode 15, Al Requiem for the Fallen. What'd you think, man? This is penultimate episode, man. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I thought overall I liked it. It was pretty interesting. There were some things that happened that were a little bit sad. I'm sure we'll we'll dig into some of this a little bit later. I was I was really upset about Nyx. Um, mm -hmm. but I, you know, I kind of knew it, you know, when she was like, go on, and I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah. there's no way she's coming out of this. Yeah, but I thought it was interesting. Also, with kind of some of the other twists that we saw, kind of what's going to go down with the widow now that we know that she's like legit pregnant. Because at first I thought, Press is lying. She's not, she's not pregnant. Yeah. But, you know. Um, and then I'm really anxious to see what happens with Moon. And because of what happened with Lydia, I'm like, oh man. Yeah. It's going to be on now. So, so. That, so, so let's stay there for a second. So the whole pregnancy thing, crazy how they did the little blue. You know, they used to instead of peeing on the stick, she took her blood, which is obviously right. another way people can find out. But the fact right. that they were able to that they figured out how to how to do that, you know what I mean? I thought that was pretty right. interesting, you know. It's uh, you know what's funny about that, Chris, I was gonna say it's funny because like sometimes you see stuff in the world of, of ITB that, that's a bit antiquated, but we forget like where they came from. <laughs> right, like Right. So, How else did they do that before they peed on a stick? Like right. like you know, like exactly right. Like of course, you know. Um, but yeah, and then I just thought it was interesting where she's like, Oh, this this is so great, this and that and, and I was like and it was like <laughs> kinda like, bitch, are you crazy? Like we're yeah. at war. I can't be doing that right now, you know. So I thought yeah. that was interesting how she's like, What do you mean? you know? Yeah. Um Yeah, and then um, you know, the whole moon thing. So 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 we got a bunch of stuff from Minerva. She she tells Gaius and Gaius is like, All right, dope, like this is awesome. Like he knew yeah, right yeah. away whose it was, you know, like it would have been great if she was like, how do you know it's yours? You know what I mean? Right. He, he would have been like, wait, what? You know, right. like, there's right. no time for that. I know there's no time for those shenanigans. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And he was like, yeah, we're going to do this. And she's like, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, it was. I mean, I, I really think that that she I think had she not been shaken by what Cressida said, she might have a little bit of a different outlook. I think she realizes the the, the gravity of being pregnant during during the conflict. But I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, my, my thought is that it's really what Cressida said that that shook her up because basically you remember Cressida was like the baby's gonna die mm -hmm. so um yeah. i feel like so. and then and then you know she had the whole plan with lydia she's like lydia is gonna take over this for me so i don't i can be a mom this is what i've always wanted yes i've raised tilda but i, I have never had my own and so she's like this is gonna be great then lydia ups and dies right? yeah and then so yeah. when moon sees minerva and he's just like you should get rid of that thing because yeah. your whole life's gonna suck like he's just he's just like done dude he's so done and he's in his old outfit by the way yep you know yep. his new old outfit i'll call it you know it was after the fact but yeah i thought that was interesting too and I, i'm sorry so so chris we gotta hop back and i gotta just mention that scene oh, yeah. with with uh with lydia and cresta in the in the jail no i don't know i know that you guys talked about it but one of the things that we were we were sharing over on the channel is like i don't know what Lydia was thinking. First of all, if I go in there and I see, and I don't see her hands, the first thing I'm thinking is, let me see your hands. Yeah. Because she just looks like, like it could be trouble. Mm -hmm. And then, I, I mean, I, I would have gotten the archers or something, man. I, I'm backup. sorry. Backup. Get some backup, yeah. right? You, this is, this woman is, but, but I, you know, that's what underestimation is, you know, she just, they just assumed, but even then the woman made it rain blood. Right. You know, you let her have all that stuff in her in that previous in that cushy cell, you know, and you put her in the brig. But it's like, yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> you, 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 Lydia, not for nothing, but you kind of got what was coming to you then. If if you not for, I mean, Lydia was a fighter. I, you know, we all agree with that. But right, is crazy, I think it was man. crazy. I, but I will say this too, and I don't know if you remember remember, remember this. I know I'm pulling us off track, so it's excuse fine. me. But um. Do you remember, uh, or did you see the interview with Lorraine Toussaint where she said that one of the things she was really looking forward to in the show was being able to fight? Yeah. So I almost feel like that whole scene was really kind of a nod to her, giving her what she wanted, because prior to this point, we'd never really seen her do anything. Right. 
Absolutely, so, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and yeah, I agree. And at the same time, that's fine, though, because everybody in the Badlands can fight. So right. why wouldn't she? Right. Why wouldn't she? She raised Pilgrim. And we don't know her story. She could have been... You know, yes, she's a priestess and everything. By the way, thank you, fans. And you know, you know, for you know, reminding me that's the word they used last week. I was right. like, I couldn't remember the name, what, what the word that was, priestess. So we don't know. Pre the monks can fight, right? So how do we know priestess of Azrud couldn't fight? Right. Everybody can fight in the Badlands, so or you're, even out of the Badlands. You're right, man. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. See now, Chris, it's your fault, man, because you got me on a rabbit trail. So I okay. got to ask you this question. Yeah. So do you perceive what happened with her eyes as a version of the dark gift? I didn't look at it that way. I almost looked at it as a witchcraft or something. Do you see it? Do you see it as a version of the dark gift? I'm just curious. Yes, I see it as a perversion of the gift. I see it. Okay. I see it as gift adjacent. I see it that. I mean, obviously, we won't get to know now unless, you know, further, you know, we don't and we don't know what's going to happen to Cressida. So she may or may not die, but we may see this in right. further stories after the show's over. Right. But in my mind, I feel like because she is a witch slash priestess thing, she is I like again, I call it gift adjacent adjacent. Mm -hmm. So at some point when the people in Azra were playing with this gift and what and unearthing it and giving it to people and whatever happened. Right. Mm -hmm. Somehow she was able to find a way to harness it, and and again we know when the gift is bad it turns you bad, you know. So right. yeah. So again, I don't have all all of it figured out yet, but I believe that it has something to do with that. So yeah. I was just curious with it. I was I was I was kind of toying around with it in my own mind, and I was thinking I'm not sure what this is. Like it, to me, it seems almost more more kind of almost like like witchcraft. And the reason I say that too is because she started. She started saying something, whatever she said. And that's another thing I oh, thought. Her words, like, right. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, look, if the witch starts saying stuff, you got to cut that off <laughs> yeah, immediately. Absolutely. You can <laughs> close the door, back out. Get, right. Like you said, get the archers, get the crossbows. Right. Yeah. But, you know, and then and then we got Lydia's funeral, which was very sad. Yeah. Um, you know, and yeah, Moon's just like, and, you know, we haven't seen Moon fight. Oh, no, that's not true. We did see him. The, we saw him, obviously, we did. We, we saw him earlier. Episode, right. But yeah. I mean, that was the only time we got to see him fight this, you know, and, 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 you know, and he was hurting, he was hurting in that fight, you know, you could tell. And so, yeah, so he's going to be pissed. He's definitely pissed. But yeah, you know, what, what, what's to, they're, you know, pending Moon doesn't freaking die. We don't know what's going to happen now, but, you know, pending, we'll see what happens with the come after the Badlands, you know, what, what his story will be. We'll see. I hope he doesn't die. If he dies, I got to find a way to jump in the screen, man. I can't I see know, that. Happen. I know. I hope not. You know, so so and we'll get to that at the end. We have some, you know, some stuff coming up after that. Right. Uh, right. For the for the last episode. But um, so, yeah, so we got to again, a lot of stuff happened. You know, obviously, the main stuff is going to be, you know, the Sonny and Kanan and, and Magnus. But before that, real quick, we you know, we, we did see Odessa come back until the through till the fur loop. You know, she's with another another, you know, she, person and and yeah. you know so she's got a new girlfriend until this like go you know like oh man and, you know and but she's like hey i still love you you know i don't want to see you die so no you're not coming to help fight you know plus she's also like yeah. screw you <laughs> you know i and it's funny too like to me that that kind of makes me a little bit scared for tilda mm -hmm. or because i'm not sure why odessa's back like why are you back i mean i understand what she said in the storyline right but what's the, story, the but motive right yeah, but what what's gonna happen with her? Yeah, so. No. yeah. So I mean, that was interesting, you know. And, and unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get to see the the, the culmination of that. But right. you know, it's again more motivation for Tilda. You know, it's all motivation. MK, let's jump to him real quick because that dude that dude picked up the pipe again. Uh. And and I thought it was real interesting how when he when he was like he's like you've been in your you've been in the you know using the gift constantly like you know. And we all know the gift kills you, but he's telling me I'm using it to heal myself because I've seen the master do it. But, but you've got to realize something, MK, you're not the master right. and you're also using it in a different way. The master does. Right. So. And it's interesting too, because he, if, if he was trying to use it like the master was, he's not, he was not able to effectuate it like she was. And right. it didn't even look the same. It's, it still looked like the dark gift. Yeah. So, and and he says that it was dulling his pain. I, you know, what I thought was interesting about that. That scene is almost almost an exact reflection of where he was when he was held captive by, um, by Nerva. by the. Mm -hmm. So, I thought that was really interesting. And you're right. Like he's on the pipe again. Like he can't. It's it's very interesting. It's like the the boy's an addict, and it's like, 
exactly. You know, I didn't even think about that correlation. You're right. Exactly. So that's his answer, you know, but it, he comes out and Eli is like, dude, you got to snap out of this. He's like, nah, man, the world sucks. This right. sucks. And right. it solidified his feelings for Pilgrim and what Pilgrim's doing. Like it renewed, I feel like it renewed his trust in Pilgrim, which sucks because I always had the theory that he was going to be the one to turn. I so I'm still <laughs> up in the air about that. I, I'm still not sure what happens there. I, I still feel like we have some players in the narrative that like could have him turn. I, yeah. I think Sonny could have him turn, especially if he finds out some stuff about mom along the way that he didn't know. Well, like he said his mom lied to him. You're right. Yeah. Right. So and I still I don't know how this will play out. And that's another reason why I wondered like what Odessa is doing there, because I still thought that maybe Tilda could be a turning point for him. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's done with her. Oh, but maybe, yeah. Um, she does care about him too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I didn't think and he that, yeah. and MK is, MK is an interesting character because he is he is a good kind of profile of what happens when you when when you are just when you feel hopeless when you feel like just all is lost yeah. and you yeah, just absolutely. Kind of absolutely yeah. So you know that's very interesting and and speaking of people who who might turn Cressida Kanan visits pilgrim and you know chris gets put down he's like stop stop talking let her talk right so yeah. that was a really cool interesting thing kanan's like you know torin i'm here you know i'm here to help you don't do this you know and you know he's just like you know what no you weren't there for me when i needed you you left right. guess what you know and then chris goes you know a lot to unpack there i know so we'll go chris real quick yeah kanan says why don't you do your thing and why don't you check out where your boy's going to be in the future. And so she does. She gets killed in her vision, right? Pilgrim says those words, behold my Azra, you know, isn't it glorious, right? Right. And then, you know, snaps her neck. She She's like, oh, no. So I'm thinking, oh, no, she's going to turn. She's going to turn. Okay. Okay, I can she, see this. I can see her turning too. But you know what's interesting about that is, for me, just thinking about, like, the impact that Pilgrim obviously has had on her because if she's able to see what happens with other people, I'm sure she had that same ability with Pilgrim, but I don't know if he had her just kind of so so shaken or, or, or so skewed that she never never thought to look at what the possibility would be for him until Kanan said, listen, you need to look and you need to really look. You You're see not, this. You see right. this. Don't be dumb. You see this. I honestly, right. I think Cressida thought again she's not dumb she did know i think she did know but i think she also tried to be the one to steer it where she wanted to go i could see that and yeah. now that she sees that he's been acting without her he and oh my god oh my god now he says it to her and it's like oh she's like wait a minute and then at the and then later he's like oh listen and listen i'm sorry i didn't mean to snap at you but no don't forget this is like the third time we've seen that Mm -hmm. he's been snapping at her ever since we met them you know mm -hmm. so again great dynamic it, wonderful dynamic and you see her now she's like she's side looking you know like damn it yeah you know like yeah. shit this guy's gonna be a monster I, I, yeah. I lost control of this guy that's what I think she has she said that's I, I would I would agree with that too I, and I think that she I think I think this is not the beginning of her worrying just that vision I think that she she's seen times before like man like this guy is really because we saw sometimes before even when she when she had to correct him like his perspective on some things True. so now I think that she can really see him slipping into darkness and I I, I still think and that's why I, I still have some hope for MK, for MK, even though I wanted MK to get it. MK made me so mad during so many episodes. I was mm -hmm. like, all right, so just take him out. Yeah. Um, but I still think he 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 realizes that something is not quite right with Pilgrim. And I almost feel like his renewed um, his renewed interest in Pilgrim is is he needs that for himself. Right. He needs to yeah. believe. He you needs know? that because yeah. because he's the only one that hasn't lied to me. OK, but he'll slap right. your neck. He'll snap your neck, which, yeah. by the way, R.I.P. Nix. Like that. Yeah, man. That was, uh, you know, that was that was heart wrenching. I really, I really grew to like Nix. I liked her before when she was a bad, a baddie, and I right. liked her when she turned. I thought that was wonderful. And, and you know, I even, I even, you know, messaged Ella Ray on Instagram. I was like, what a great arc for that character, short lived, but still, what a fantastic arc she she was able to play out. You know. Yeah. Um, she. She no, her her character was amazing. We and actually we we tried to get her on to interview her too. Yeah. Um, but I I I really loved her character and man, I was hoping she was gonna make it through. But as I said, when 
when when she told the widow to go, and I thought to myself, you know what, you're you're no match for Pilgrim, right? Uh, but um, I was, and then to see her go like that, and and it was it was just really really sad, and and that and that makes me somewhat worried for MK too. They they're all expendable. Everyone, the- every absolutely everyone is. So, you know, and Pilgrim did that without the gift too. He didn't turn the gift sure on to do that. That's some that's some cold blooded shit right <laughs> there, man. Sure it really was. But yeah, so you know, um I mean, we're at the point now, oh, Kanan loses her gift, man. That was that was you know, yeah. Kanan Kanan was shook. Kanan's a badass, but she was shook. Mm-hmm. Sonny walked away from her. You know, mm-hmm. she had to walk away from Magnus. She had the Stockholm syndrome. You know, you mentioned that off camera, we were talking about it. How right. you're you how you're how you feel about Kanan's character at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, I'm just I'm just a little surprised because earlier on when we kind of had the buildup of her character, she was presented as at least in my mind's eye, she was presented as the one that knew the right things to do. She knew to lock Sonny's gift. She helped them escape. So when we encountered her, I really almost pictured her to be almost like a sage in terms of just just knowing all of the right things to do and say. So yeah. I, it was a it was a big twist for me because I didn't think that she would present the way that the writers presented her. Yeah. So are you are you are you disappointed by it or are you on board? I'm a little bit disappointed by it because you wanted that little... you wanted that person to come in and be like nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted. I wanted. I guess like, you know, when you think of like some of the the old Kung Fu movies or some of the Shaw movies where, where you have the master that comes in and, and he knows every move and he just, he just knows everything or, yeah. or, but that's not what I got. But I felt like the buildup was that. So I do, I will tip my hat to the writers because they threw me a monkey wrench. I was not expecting with her. Yeah. So. We, we, we were almost expecting a captain Marvel to show up. Exactly. Right? And, but exactly. you know what? You, you know, I, I, I have to agree with you. I, I feel like I may have been a little disappointed, although I didn't really have that many expectations come meeting Kanan. Oh, um, really? Maybe beforehand, like you said. Maybe I thought the same thing. Oh, you know, she's going to come in and she's going to and she's gonna free Sonny. She's going to unlock his gift. But then watching her fight Magnus and not killing him, I thought, and then having her bring them to a point, you know, to the beach where she's like, let's get out of here. I was like, oh, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. She just wants yeah. to be done with this. And then yeah. it made sense to me. Like, you know what? This is a broken person. This is a person who has been a- essentially ripped away from her family for most of her life at this point, told one thing, knowing what she was doing was essentially wrong, hoping just to get to get to her brother, her brothers. She was looking mm-hmm. for Torin and Sanzo. You know what I mean? Finding them, but it completely not being what she want. Not to mention her father, so to speak. Her surrogate father, you know, basically tried killing her at that, you know, so, yeah, you know, so, so, yeah, and then now she's lost her gift, you know, so that, yeah. so that brings us to, let's jump over real quick to Sonny and, and Baji's plan. First of all, Nick Frost absolutely killing it with these freaking lines in this episode, man, just getting better yeah. and better, man. He's a, he, he's a beast. Remind, I want to ask you something about Kanan, so remind me not to forget before we, before we, um, before we finish up. Ask me now. Well, we, we, go ahead, do it now. We don't, we don't forget. Oh, I, so, I'm curious what you think about this, Chris, because yeah. I, one of the things I think is really interesting that we've learned about Azra now that we know that Sunny comes from Azra is that it may be that Azra was not this pristine society that was looking to kind of spread love to, throughout the world. If it is the case that Sunny really was bred to be a killer, and apparently that's the case because yeah. Dad said so, and if it is the case that that possibly the Black Lotus are right, is it is it is it the case that? That what what they're really planning to do was to decimate everybody who was not like them. I I, I think that's an interesting conflict, and in, in, I might be jumping the gun because maybe we'll get we'll get to this a little bit later with um with Kanan's discussion with Pilgrim uh, in the chamber. But it's 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 just really interesting to think like what actually Azra is, and and even Sunny having to deal with that. Like man, holy smokes, these folks might not really be. Like what they what they claim, I, I I was bred to be a killer, and yep. so I think that twist is kind of interesting in the story because I know for me, I always figured that the folks that came from Azra were kind of like the the quintessential good guys, the, yep. you know. So yeah, so if we break it down, we have yeah yes. First of all, yes, that that I I agree. That is that's it. Azra sucked. <laughs> Azra oh. sucked. They were they wanted to decimate 
you don't have a group like the Black Lotus show up for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yes, they the way they rolled it out, we were like, hold on, Azra's up here, but now it's like, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Right. Nope, they right. were they were a holes. Yep, right. we have <laughs> they they were a holes, and so Black Lotus is is right in that aspect. You know, go along with their methods or not. That's besides the point at this point because you have your factions are the Black Lotus trying to stop Azra who who wanted to decimate the world and and basically commit genocide, which now which once confirmed. Kanan confirms that with Pilgrim. Pilgrim, alt, you know, absolutely and entirely says, no, nope, yeah, who am I to go against what, what my right. forefathers want? So there you go. Right. And then you have the the master who was doing something different. Now, we went, we originally saw the monks as bad. This is so right. cool. This is what they've done, man. They've made it so like, hey, you got this group, this group, this group. Who's good? Yep. Who's bad? Who's bad? They're all kind, they all kind of suck, but they're all kind of good, except right. maybe for Azra, who it turns out really suck. <laughs> so you you bring up a fantastic point and it's funny because mike and i were having a, a bit of a, a an argument with this for the past few episodes where mm -hmm. i was like dude i knew it i knew they wanted to use sunny to to kill people and he was like no but i didn't know that that's what that's what it was and you know i'm like nah dude that's what it is you know and like that was something when in the beginning of the season that i i kind of thought was might might have been the, the issue having him being whisked away like that so yeah. yeah, man. I yeah, it's just you know they you know it's it's confirmed, man. You know, myth busted. Azra sucks, you know, and it's like yeah, that fantastic. I love the twist. The twist was was really we, good. It, we and we had someone in in the community. I can't remember who it was that actually made a good point because they were talking about um, talking about the different parts of the gift kind of being different elements of the gift being given to certain people, mm -hmm. and it's interesting that. Well, I guess she doesn't have it anymore. Maybe she does. Who knows? But Kanan had a certain part of the gift. I, oh, um, Magda said it, that she could control. She can control, I guess, people. Mm -hmm. And if Sunny's gift is so powerful um, that a Pilgrim needs to be able to turn it off, it almost seems like almost like a like, like a checks and balances system. Yeah. Uh, for and I, I was just thinking about that, too. So it's interesting to see kind of those dynamics of what the gift might be also. So. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, obviously... You know, you have a little, little bits of the force in there. You know, you have the light yeah. side, the dark side, which obviously we've been dealing with this whole season, right? And, yeah. um, well, you know, more than that. And, you know, the fact that Kanan says to Pilgrim, you were never meant to have it. Like, ex it's exactly what you said. You know, Baji seems to be a little bit different. He lost the gift, but he still has the healing. Some... He's got, he, yeah. maybe yeah. because he had the light side, right? But the fact that Pilgrim wasn't supposed to have the gift. You know, it's 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 all a perversion. That's the thing. It's, it's so much about this gift that we don't know. And right. this, and he and he used the freaking force, dude. He yep. used the force to stop yep. that that <laughs> that weapon. That by the way, that weapon can nullify the gift. Oh wow! So, that, so there's metal that. there's metallurgy. Is that the, the word? <laughs> right? The metal alchemy. Ah, metal, right? uh, yeah. Metallurgy, I think it's called. That's like the magic alchemy with metal or yeah. something. They've infused. That was like they did it with Ankara, where they had her, and it was it nullified her gift. So the black locusts, the black locusts have these these weapons, these tools that can nullify. So again, it's like they have to. This got to get continued because that was a bad sentence. This this needs to be continued. I got gotcha. you. You know because it's there's so much to it. So you know, but that that could be a whole other thing we talk about later. But yeah, so those things right. absolutely happened. And Kanan Kanan lost the power, which helps her. You know, Baji's plan, real quick, Baji's plan, let's get the Black Lotus. And he's like, you're crazy. Right. You know? Right. Gaia shows up. Fantastic to see those three, man. We never see yep. them together. It was really cool. Yep. Um, That was some cool stuff. Oh, it's it's in the bus depot. Okay, we're in the bus depot. He's like, oh, my father always talked about this. He's like, what, bus depots? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> uh, and dude, and oh, man. I got to get to those one-liners, dude. So they're talking about, he's like, oh, what? He's like, yeah, so so my girl's pregnant. He's like, oh, well, how's it like being a father? He's like, what the hell are you asking him for? He was he hasn't been around, which was, dude, if that wasn't on the nose, man. You know what I'm saying? Not, for, truth, man. not for nothing, dude, but Sonny, yes, he, he cares about his son, but, he's, but his duty is almost more, which is very interesting. You know what I mean? <clears throat> for, for, for what Sonny is, he always gives his son away to protect him. But he's like, I got shit to do over here so I can protect my son. But he's right, you know? Right. He says, right. I jerked a goat off, dude. <laughs> jerked off a goat for this kid. I'm practically the boy's mother. <laughs> like, oh, boy. But again, yeah, 
he ain't lying, right? So yeah, he's telling the truth. Oh man, no, he and that's one thing about about that character, man. Bonzi Nick Frost, the the lines that come from him, and they seem so effortless too. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember asking uh, Daniel during during an interview, was any of it um, improv? Because they seem like, and Daniel said most of it was scripted, but I was like, really? Because he just really seems like yeah. Well, I guess know, they know how to write for Nick, right? I guess so. It's just, and he knows how to deliver that, you know. So yeah, yeah. You know, that was that was some really good stuff, and so obviously. You know, I knew Magnus wasn't going to – Magnus was not. He's so, f- like, focused, minded on killing them. You're better than me, man. I thought I thought he might go for it. Oh, really? Go for it. Yeah. No, that dude's a yeah. bastard. I, lo- I really like the character, though. I really – you know, that dude is awesome. You know, they cast – they always cast so well in the show. But, like, I, I knew that dude was – he's like, nah, man. So you knew, he, you knew he wasn't going to do I it. I knew – I just I just knew he just doesn't – nah, he just – he because, he, you know, he's old school. He's just – and then he took away Kanan. So he was like, nah, F you. We're, no, you're not doing that to me. You know, and I'm yeah. so focused minded. But we got a little bit of, of good news with all that stuff. You know, I love, oh man, you got to, we got to see Sanzo and and, and uh, Kanan together doing a little brother sister action, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. that was yeah. dope. That was really that was Yeah, yeah. That was a sweet fight, too. Yeah. That was, that was really sweet. I, although I was, now I'm nervous, man, when anybody pulls out their sword against Pilgrim. I'm nervous for anybody. I, I think I'm probably even going to be nervous for Sunny, but I was certainly nervous for Kane. And I was like, oh, here we go. I can't take another death. I can't take I know. I was hoping she wasn't going to. I was like, no, we just got her in, you know? Right. Um, and uh, real quick, going back to what you said about um, the, old, the old world stuff, I, I, got, I didn't get a chance to go back. I wanted to see the date on that quarter he had. I want to see what that date was. Not that it really means anything, but sometimes when, you know, people show coins and stuff with years, you know, it kind of means something maybe. So I got to go back and look at that. I didn't get a chance to look, but he was kind of covering it though with his thumb. I got to go back and look now now that you say that myself. I thought that was really interesting. You heard the little cha-ching and then he Mm -hmm. pulled it out and he's like, oh, you know, and it's just like, you know, what they must think what we were back here, you know? Right. Um, But that was, that was really cool. So, you know, um, you know, Pilgrim makes more more dark ones. Credits to the hears him say those words. You know, I mean, you know, we don't we don't have to linger too much on that fight. You know, they got their they got their group, they got their army, which is which is dope as hell, right? You know, so um, I guess we'll start one down. You know, so we're not spending an hour doing this. I mean, we, we absolutely could. There's so much. Yeah, we could. It. Okay, <laughs> but you know, we'll we'll wind it down. We want to keep it, you know, short for our, for our you know all of our audiences. And um, right. you know, so. Yeah, this is it, man. We're 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 in the we're we're in the proverbial end game, bro. You know? Yeah, I see the same thing, the end game. So you know, yeah. and um, you know, so if you guys always, I always watch the, the coming attractions. Did you watch the coming attractions? I have not seen them. So now, man, I I haven't, and I'm trying to decide, Chris. Like, what? I almost want to go in. I almost like don't want to know. Oh no! Are well, you, all or, right. Or, okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, I got, go ahead. I'm gonna go tell ahead. you. I'm gonna tell you because this is something okay. Sherman Augustus has has been teasing us with all season long. Uh, he said there's going to be an episode called Magnificent Seven, Magnificent Seven, you know? Right. And we know Magnificent Seven for us, what that means for us. You know what right. I mean? Um, so I, all right. So if you don't want to, you know, they don't really give away that much. You know no, what I'm saying? Okay, no, it's Because I do, I do remember Sherman talking about that anyway. And I think, I think, I, I think I remember looking at it from an interview you guys did with him. So I'm familiar with the Magnificent Seven. He's been, yeah, he's, he's, told that, he's told us all, right? So we get to see the Magnificent Seven. Okay. And, uh, so we, we we see who they are. It's Sunny, Minerva, Moon, Gaius, Tilda, Kanan, and Baji. There's your seven. They roll right. up on a hill. That's the one shot. They roll up on a hill. Right. You know? So each one of them has a reason to fight. Each one of them has a reason to to win. You know what I mean? They have the Black Lotus. Cressida could be could play a pivotal role in stopping Pilgrim. MK could play a pivotal role in stopping Pilgrim or stopping Sunny. Yeah, Kanan's lost her power. What does that mean for Sonny? Yeah, is yeah. Is he not going to get his power back now? Because at first we didn't think he wanted it two episodes ago. Then Kanan brings him to this thing. He's like, "Well, I'll unlock my power," and she's like, "No." And he's like, "What?" So then he, right. you want it now, you know? So it's like, what's going on I, with all that? I almost feel like, and this is just a fan's perspective. I almost feel like it has to happen. I feel like it has to happen for him, and I almost feel like it has to happen for the widow too. Because all of us have been waiting so long to see it, even though I will say after the lessons that the widow learned from the master, mm-hmm. like she she's she's elevated, even her fighting's elevated. You can see it. Um, but I don't know, man. I feel like if we don't see Sonny with the gift or the widow with the gift, 
folks are going to go nuts. So yeah, especially we'll see what happens, especially seeing that this is the end. Um, yeah. Let me hit you with two things. Number one. Okay. Number one. Well, it's it's all it's all inclusive. Okay. Sunny Minerva get their gift back. Cressida gives them the gift back. She uses think- the voodoo. Gets the, gets them the gift back. The widow's uh, Minerva's baby is fine because it's got the gift. Okay. The, at the end of the, the end of the season, she could possibly give birth. Well, actually, it won't be now because it's too soon. But later on, guess what? She gives birth. The baby has a gift. Continues on. They start a whole new thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just looking for after the Badlands. What could happen after the Badlands? I, you know what? I actually could see that, actually. That makes that makes some sense. I, I, I would be surprised if, if the gift came back through Cressida. Because I still think her head's going to roll one way or another. Yeah. Um, and I think people want to see that, too. I think people want to see Moon have a hand in that. Yep. Um, yep. But that, that'd be interesting for them to do something like that, to be able to carry on the show. Because one of the things I have been thinking about is, so what is the next, like, what what is the big transitional play to move on after this episode? So that at least you can set yourself up to be able to do so. Yeah. And I know that a lot of people were worried. I know some folks in, in, in the community of, and the community, excuse me, over on Dark Side were worried because they were like, "Well, man, if you're killing all people, this is when people thought Baji was dead." Yeah. But um, but then you know we find out he isn't. Like, how would you carry on the show beyond the final episode? I'm not super worried about that, even though I do think some players are key. I mean, I feel like people felt that way about Quinn. Like, oh my God, like what are we gonna do now that mm-hmm. Quinn is gone? Yeah. So. Um, and then you got, you know, Babu came in and, and he did a good job as Pilgrim and yeah. we got Lorraine as Cressida. So, um, I don't know. I like that, man. I like that scenario because I've been, I've been turning around how they would keep it going. Um, with just the character wise, I'm not worried about the story because I feel like there's a whole lot there's more plenty, story. Right. There's yeah. plenty they could do with it. Right. So, yeah, I don't, so wait, so wait, 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 in your scenario, mm-hmm. Sunny is still a part of that scenario for you moving forward or no? Um, at least, at least in the end, at least for the end of this, you know, okay. they defeat Pilgrim, uh, Sonny and, and Minerva get their gift back, you know, and Sonny's kid doesn't have it anymore. I didn't think that far ahead. Now I'm thinking, hmm, let me think about that. But yeah, I, at least up to this point, although you could have, it could be the end of Sonny's story for us. And he, and he goes and he, he lives a life with, um, you know, let's just say him and Baji take off, you know? But right. Minerva decides, you know what? I'm going to stay here. I'm going to fight her and guys. They're going to fight for the rest of, to free the rest of the Badlands and bring the Badlands to what she thought it could be prior. You know what she thought Lydia could do for the Badlands. You know, and, yeah. and and raise that child. And yeah, so yeah, no, maybe Sunny. I'd like to see if story if Sunny's story ended, I'd be okay with that. And if Minerva continued, I'd be okay with that. I think so. I think that that one of two things has to happen. And even though like this is nothing on, on Nick or any of the other folks, but I feel like if if you're going to carry it on after this, you almost have to have a character like Minerva or, or Sonny or something like that. Cause almost like half of, half of the audience over on dark side is team widow. Mm-hmm. I, I always say uh, she's my TV wife. So, yeah. um, but she, so she's, she's a strong enough character where people I think would follow, Absolutely. follow her afterwards. So, Absolutely, yeah. um, so yeah, it w- however it works, you, you got to have a character where where the interest level is enough for people to say, hmm, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I agree, and and to that point, I think m- many of these characters, even having even having even if the widow bows out to have her child and Tilda takes over, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And MK's redeemed, you know, and they start a new yeah. regime, you know, not necessarily that to, to being together as a couple. But I mean, you know, as as a team, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different ways and I'm sure they've played out all these scenarios probably, you know. So, yeah, look, you know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We have one more episode left. We will end this video here. So all uh, right. you guys don't have to be here all night. You know, um, <laughs> Alan, I obviously could talk about this forever. But um, so listen, so that's going to be it. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this on third person channel, if you're watching this on Dark Side's channel, you know, get, you know. Obviously, like you guys always do, you know, let us know what you think. Uh, right. So, Al, where can they get to you? Obviously, Dark Side TV movie reviews on YouTube. How about your socials? What can they do there? Right. So you can on Instagram, you can find me at Dark Side Reviews on Instagram. And on Twitter, it's just under my name. It's under Al John Seward okay. on Twitter. There you so. go. And obviously for us, you can see it if you want, you know, third person, you see it up in the top, the at third person on all the socials. 
um, you know, you do search for it, you can get to us on there. So, um, Al, thank you very much for filling oh, my seat for me to this, this, this episode. Uh, it was wonderful speaking with you. Um, you know, we don't get to have a face to face normally. We're always busy doing right. our own things. So it's really right. fun to have you on here. Um, everyone watching us on, on dark side. Thank you very much for allowing us to, to hop on the channel and say, what's up to you guys. We appreciate it. Um, and you know, just, yeah, uh, go ahead, man. I know. I just want to echo the same, man. Thanks uh, for everybody over at third person. You know, we love you guys. We, we are, we're, 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 we're partners, um, when it comes to ITB. So it's awesome to be here. Awesome to, to be sitting in Mike's place. What people don't really know is I've got Mike tied up in a trunk behind me. That's what's really going on. I wasn't, I wasn't going to say it out, but Hey man, you, hey. you went for it. You know what? That's fine. We'll let him out after this. Don't worry. He'll be fine. We will. No, I, Mike, thanks so much for, for, uh, let me sit in for you, buddy. And hopefully you're enjoying yourself. And it's been awesome, man. I mean, we, we have to do it again Absolutely. And around something else. Oh, also you guys, I do want to shout, uh, say this for folks that are part of the dark side community. There's a lot of other stuff that they're covering over on third person that we do not cover. I know that you guys are still covering um, Walking Dead. There's a there's a big contingency of folks that like uh, TWD um, that's part of the dark side community. So guys, make sure you check this channel out because there's a lot of stuff that we are not covering that they are covering. Yep. So make sure you guys go over there and check them out. Yep, and absolutely. I was going to say the uh, the converse on there on, on Al's channel on Dark Side. You're doing Warrior right now, which yeah, I don't have access to. So uh, I heard you say in one of your videos, it's, it's already on episode four. I'm like, damn it, I didn't get to watch any of that. So <laughs> if you guys are watching Warrior, go check out um, Al's videos on that. And you're also doing movie. Obviously, it's in the name. You got your t uh, TV and you got movie reviews going over there. So yeah. Al's, Al's covering a lot of stuff over there. So Listen, between the two of our channels, we got you covered. So just, you know, right. get in, get in and all that. And we also want to say into the Badlands um, Facebook communities, get in there, look in our descriptions because we got them in there. You got to get a part of that, um, especially now that this, we're up with the last episode. Right. Sh show them the love. Show them the love. You know, right. third person plans on doing more into the Badlands stuff after the fact. You right. Know? Um, so it's not going to yeah. end for anybody, you know? I just want to echo that too. So guys, make sure that you jump over to the Facebook group. There will be a link in the, the description for both our videos, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, and don't don't think that that because this is all that we get from AMC, that, that thing that that group will go away and the group might transition to do other things as well. But the community itself is really good. And there and and, and there and <laughs> the ITB love lives on Absolutely. on the Facebook group. So make sure you guys connect. Absolutely. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much. Once again, Al, thank you so much. Yes, and sir. We will all see you next time. Peace out. All right, guys. Peace.